Tutorial Hello, welcome to Orbitex Training 101. In this session, I'll be guiding you through the basic steps of what the heck it is you're doing here. As a newly qualified graduate of the Academy of Space Stations, you are tasked with using our patented quantum cleanup technology to create a custom-built station, constructed real-time in space, to clean up any type of debris orbiting any type of planet using components recycled from the debris itself. But all of that starts with a single block. The cube you see before you is a string-infused subatomic reverberation module with chromodynamic cladding. But you can think of it as your core block. This is the foundation of your entire structure. Suffice to say, if your core block gets destroyed, it's game over. Additional blocks are used to build your station. Select them via the inventory. You can add, remove, rotate, and change the location of blocks to your heart's content, or until you run out of money. Remember, no matter how many blocks you place, it's the destruction of the core block that ceases your very existence. Next up are panels. These are pieces of technology that attach to the faces of blocks to provide your station with functionality, such as power, weaponry and shielding. Navigate your inventory to select a panel type to place. Note that these cost credits, but are able to be refunded when removed. You will also notice the ability to switch between build mode, to place blocks and panels, and view mode, to see specific details of them. Each panel type comes with a number of statistics associated with it. These are health, spoilers, get to zero and its bye-bye panel, energy, how much battery capacity it has access to, strength, how powerful it is at doing its job, for example how good a laser is at lasering, defense, how much damage it can withstand, speed, how fast that panel works, and efficiency, how much energy the panel consumes with each passing moment. Different panels will have different metrics and are capable of being improved through upgrades, which, surprising nobody, there's more about later. Next up, you'll need to learn about wires and batteries. These are fundamental panels that act as the lifeblood of a station. Batteries contain the power the panels need to function. Wires connect batteries to panels. You're able to rotate batteries and wires and will observe that the wires light up when a functioning circuit is made. Batteries are stackable, meaning that when placed next to one another, their capacity to connected panels is combined. Now that you've grasped the basics of blocks, panels, wires and batteries, it's time to talk about credits. Earn them by destroying debris and spend them on expanding or repairing blocks and panels on your station. For those of you familiar with economic models of the 21st century, 
Exchanging currency for goods and services should be a concept you've heard before. Next, the reason you're here. Space debris. Your job as Orbitech will be to clean up waves of oncoming space debris of varying amounts, types and directions, with the only certainty being that it will accumulate with increasing ferocity until you destroy it or it obliterates you. If you miss out on the first try, don't worry, it's almost certainly caught in the orbit of the nearest planet. What goes around, comes around. Destroyed debris will often reveal glowing blue cubes. These are Andromedan Tesseract droplets. For reasons currently unknown to science, they are contained within space debris throughout the cosmos. They are used as resource units to upgrade and, along with credits, repair your station. to unlock new panel technology or boost one or more metrics on your station. This lasts for the duration of your playthrough. And of course, by playthrough, I mean your super duper serious job of making these wiggly block rockets and blasting space junk into smithereens.
when yours comes to an end, you will earn wave point boosts. These are tied to how many waves of debris you were able to progress through in that playthrough. Wave point boosts can be used in the main menu screen to unlock some serious and not so serious modifications to your Orbitex experience. Presumably, I'm breaking the fourth wall at this point because whoever wrote my script is narratively incompetent. So there we have it. Will you use your time to build a fortified structure of organized circuitry and weaponry? Or will you whip together a tether, a thruster and a laser to create a swirling blaster of doom? Whatever you decide, I've no doubt you'll make space a clean and open sanctuary of nothingness in absolutely no time at all. Good luck. Welcome to Orbitax.